Hey everyone, I'm Ritu Gill. I'm here to cover an OSINT tool called facecheck.id, which can be used for reverse image search. Simply enter a photo you wanna see if you can identify a person. It has to be that face though. Um, so let's do a demo with my photo. All right, the results are in. And here you see that same photo is mentioned in different places. Um, LinkedIn, Facebook, Sans, uh, YouTube, CastBox. Um, you can see the top ones are the ones that are me. Um, you can see there are the matches and these ones are, are also me here. So what you want to look at is the number. So if you're looking at a number between 90 to 100, it's a certain match. You can see these ones are all up there. And then it says 83 to 89 is a confident match, which those are accurate as well. Um, if you start going uncertain match or weak match and you see the numbers, yeah, those are not going to be usually that individual and it's definitely not me in any of those. Um, so that's a quick way to show you how you can use this website. Now let's talk about documentation. So if you were an OSINT researcher and you need to capture results from FaceCheck, uh, you can use a screen capturing tool to make these captures that will stand up in court, that will include essentials like the date and time stamp, the hash values, along with that URL that you were visiting. So you can use the Forensic OSINT browser extension to do this. Here I'm looking at these screens um, that appear and I want to click on maybe just capture current screen. So now you're in the case management system and you can see the screen capture with the date and time stamp, the URL. You can add notes here. Let me choose photos. You can download. So that's the button you would did. click on to download the information. I'm going to click here. Let's open up that folder. And when you click on capture is the screen capture and simply printing to PDF and creating your report will capture it. Other things in the folder that are interest to you are things like the file hash values, images from that site, um, source code, all that is in your download. So again, looking at what you can do using the Forensic OSINT app and also facecheck.id, uh, always make captures and always document what you're doing. Thanks so much for watching today.